Hey there, are you ready to step up your sales game and close more deals? Today, I'll show you how to create your very own chatbot in Como. Let's dive in. So why are chatbots essential for sales teams? In our digital world, customers expect quick responses 24 seven, but it's tough and expensive for businesses to be glued to their screens at all hours. That's where Como SalesBot comes in. These automated chatbots handle repetitive conversations, letting your team focus on important stuff. They engage with leads instantly, qualify them, and move them down the pipeline while you sleep. Curious how it works? Let's find out. It all starts when someone starts a chat with your business. This conversation becomes a new lead in Como. Your sales bot wakes up and immediately replies, hey, how can I help you? And offers a few options to choose from. Let's say the client goes for service promotions. The bot sends a list of provided services and gives your lead a bit of time to see if there's a promotion they're interested in. Let's say they choose website creation. In the next step, the sales bot asks if they want to schedule a meeting and the lead replies, still have questions. The sales bot requests the lead's preferred method of communication and the phone number. When the lead provides it, Como assigns a manager moving the lead forward in your sales pipeline. In the meantime, in your lead card, you can see the lead's contact number, the responsible user, and the current pipeline stage. Once Como verifies the number, the lead receives a portfolio file showcasing previous website projects while the manager connects. But what if the lead asks for something like social media marketing services and hasn't chosen any of the pre-made scenarios? SalesBot alerts the team to step in, signaling that human assistance is needed. The agent, in return, can help the bot by indicating that the message is consistent with an intent suggested by the bot or taking full control of the conversation. During the conversation, your manager handles the regular sales work, filling out the lead cards, answering queries, and dealing with objections. When it's time to close the deal, SalesBot assists in generating contracts or invoices. Once the invoice is sent, the lead automatically moves to the invoice sent stage. After the lead pays, SalesBot swiftly moves them to the final closed one stage and sends a confirmation message. With almost no human involvement, SalesBot has just helped us sell our website creation services. With SalesBot, you can customize everything to match your business needs. To build a SalesBot from scratch, you don't need any coding skills. Let me walk you through the process and you'll see how easy it is. In Como, you can create your SalesBot directly from the pipeline, right from your inbox or through communication tools in the settings tab. It all leads to the same intuitive visual builder. For this video, let's focus on the first method. Go to the lead section and click on automate. Here, you can see all the stages of your pipeline. You can add a bot to any of these stages. On the left side, we have lead sources, the channels we get new leads from, like social media, messengers, websites, Google Forms, Facebook ads, and so on. Since all the requests land in the incoming lead stage, let's add our sales bot here. Click on any empty cell and select sales bot. You can customize when and how your bot gets triggered. For example, the bot can wake up immediately when the lead enters the pipeline. It can also get scheduled for a particular time and day or for a specific action like a website visit. Let's set a trigger for when a conversation starts through an incoming message in Telegram. This way, your sales bot will get triggered when a new conversation starts in your Telegram. Now, let's create our chatbot using the Visual Builder. Here's what it looks like. All you gotta do is drag and drop the steps to craft your bot's journey. You can do anything from sending automated messages to customers to setting conditions for different responses and internal communications. Also, you can pause the bot until a certain action is completed, for example, until the lead watches the video. SalesBot has advanced features such as changing responsible users, creating follow-up tasks, generating forms, 
and documents with the help of Como's widgets and even implementing A and B testing. Once the client sends you any contact information, you can use the validation feature that recognizes different numbers, letters, and emails to automatically check the validity of this information. If you feel like going beyond our preset steps, you can use the custom step to input your own piece of code. If you need more guidance, check out our knowledge base article. Now let's build our bot to create efficient customer interactions. Let's start by setting up a greeting message with call to action buttons. By the way, you can add synonyms for these buttons to ensure the bot recognizes different phrases. You can also create an algorithm of actions for customers who will send a different answer. For example, the bot can say something like, aha, uh -huh, I'm not a wizard, I'm just learning. Please give me a moment. I will ask for help and redirect your lead to one of your agents. As mentioned earlier, the agent can specify the bot's intent so it knows how to act in a similar situation or take full control of the conversation. Now, for each of the original responses, we need to craft a custom scenario. Let's stick with the scenario we've covered earlier. Once the lead clicks on Service Promotions, they'll receive a new message with the latest offers of the month. Let's add another message, attach the promotions file, and add a short engaging text. Now, let's give our lead a moment to look at the offers. For that, we'll pause the bot for a bit. And once the time is up, SalesBot will send a couple of follow-up messages with more calls to action. You can also pause the bot for various triggers, for example, until the message from the client is received during your off hours or for particular lead actions. In our scenario, the lead is interested in web creation services, but has questions. To answer their questions, we'll assign a personal manager and automatically move them to the incoming lead stage. But before we do that, let's ask our lead if they prefer to continue this conversation via telegram or phone. If you remember, our lead requests a call. We'll ask for their phone number. If the number is correct, it will automatically be added to the lead card. Perfect. Now let's assign our responsible user and change the lead status. But for our manager to take action, we need to make sure they are aware of this lead. So our bot will create a follow-up task for them and specify that the lead wants to be contacted via phone. Sometimes it might take a minute or even five for the manager to get their hands on the chat, but we need to keep our potential customers engaged during that time. So, how do we do that? One of the options is to send a portfolio with your previous projects. Here you can attach an image, video, or PDF file, and that's when our sales bot stops. Now, you can customize this bot to fit your needs and add steps for your calls to action and alternative scenarios. You can rename, duplicate, and delete any steps you want. Just don't forget to click the Save button. This was just to show you how easy it is to build one from scratch. All you need is an understanding of the flow and a bit of creativity. Now let's add another bot to the mix, one that will transfer leads to the closed one stage after a purchase and send them a link with order confirmation. Go to the stage Invoice Sent and add a trigger. Choose the trigger that should act when a form is submitted. Now we'll set our bot to always so that time zones don't stop us from making sales and keeping our customers happy. Now, we've got to pay attention here. Make sure to toggle on leave messages unread. This way, we'll be aware that the customer makes the payment. Finally, it's time to create our payment bot. First, we need to change the stage of the lead to closed one and then send a message confirming the order.
Let's say we want to personalize this message. We can make our bot address the customer using their first name as specified in Telegram. Stop the bot and click Save. Now, if you decide to remove this trigger, just click on the bin icon. All right, click Done and don't forget to save your changes. And there you have it. Just an hour of your time can save you and your team days, even weeks of repetitive work. If you're curious about creating a document generation bot, check out one of our previous tutorials for knowledge. And that's it for today, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an update. Thank you for watching. Until next time.